Hi, it's Melissa here with Healthy Being by Melissa. And today I want to talk to you about what are those little dark blood red cherry spots that are on your arms, legs, or front or back of your torso. I get a lot of questions about these from my clients almost on a daily basis. They want to know what they are, how did they get there, and how do you get them to go away. And so I want to answer those questions for you specifically. And then I'm also going to show you what a cherry angioma looks like. That's the name of these things. They are called cherry angiomas. They're red little spots that occur on the body. And why they occur is for one specific reason. They're an indicator of a bromide or bromine toxicity. So you ask yourself, what is bromide or what is bromine? It is an element that occurs in nature. And specifically, it is an element of a compound that we add to our flower to help it be fluffy. And in the old days, like when my grandmother used to make fresh pies and fresh breads, they'd have to sift through the flour. That sifting process is no longer something that we have to do. Bakers and production companies of breads and cookies and products that are processed, they don't need to siphon their flour. There's been an additive that's been added. The additive is bromine. And bromine is in toxic levels and it enters the body. It causes thyroid dysfunction. It's a huge thyroid uh, dysfunction uh, root cause. What it does, bromine or bromide, actually blocks the actual adapters or the receptors for our iodine. And iodine helps regulate our metabolism. It supports the thyroid gland and all, its, all of its functions. So these little red cherry angiomas can be often an indicator or precursor to a thyroid deficiency, so particularly thyroid hypothyroidism. So if you find that you're sluggish, feel tired, have thinning hair, hair is falling out, have poor digestion, have hormonal imbalances, have a lower body temperature, which is a big factor. And when I say lower body temperature, it's in the low 96.8, or it might be in, um, in the 97.4 range. Anything in 96 or 97 range is very low. So bromine is something you want to avoid if you are seeing more of these cherry angiomas. And so some of the best ways to do that is to avoid processed foods, avoid foods that have a lot of flour and wheat, soy, and corn in them. And also try to eat as many fresh vegetables as you can, including sea vegetables, which are iodine supportive. So the iodine is going to be something you want to look at adding to your diet. I recommend that with a caveat. You want to make sure you understand your thyroid levels before you do any type of iodine supplementation. So get a test, work with your doctor, your local naturopath, or if you want to consult with me, I'd be more than happy to help you. But today we're talking about the cherry angioma and ways to minimize their existence. They can decrease in size. Some of them are as large as a pencil, tip, a pencil eraser. Some are as small as a pen tip. And so they can occur in different sizes. The larger, there are, the larger they are is actually an indicator of the intensity of the bromine toxicity. So you definitely want to do some bromine detoxing. I'm going to show Okay, that little red spot in the middle of your screen, that's a cherry angioma. And that's my arm. It's pretty small, but I look at it every day and it's really annoying. And I'm sure you find that yours is annoying too. Okay, so you saw my angioma, and I once I realized what it was, I made some major changes, and I hope you will too. I hope you found this video helpful and informative, and if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please send me a, shoot me a comment. I love to hear from my viewers, and if you really like this video, I have a ton of other videos, so I hope you'll become one of my subscribers, and I hope we'll also connect socially. So I've got all that information down below how to connect socially, and some other videos that I think you might like. So I appreciate your time, and I hope you have a great day.